I have so been looking forward to this. Really excited to open it and share it with you guys and see it for myself too. Stay tuned, this could be a real gem. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Today I have a special unboxing for you. This is a handbag and I will go ahead and tell you right up front it's a camera bag. I have been looking for a camera bag for maybe a year or two. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on my channel. I've been looking at all kinds of different ones, and of course the Gucci Soho Disco is at the top of the list because it's a beautiful bag, it's a classic bag, but it's also around $1,000 on the pre-loved market. If you buy it new, it's $1,200 plus tax. So I've been looking for other alternatives, and it's a bag that I know I won't carry a whole lot, but I want it every now and then. So it's not really something that I would necessarily want to spend $1,200 or even $1,000 on. So I've been looking for alternatives and I finally found this. I've been seeing ads for this company. I'm going to start opening it. I've been seeing ads for this company on Facebook. It was such an interesting concept and the price was pretty unbeatable and irresistible. I thought, well, at that price, it's definitely worth a shot. The concept behind this brand, it's called Last Brand. Have you guys been seeing the Facebook ads for them too? The concept behind the company is that they make luxury quality items like handbags, like clothing, silk and cashmere, like scarves and some hats, towels, Turkish bathrobes, bedding, and they make it at the same factories that the luxury brands make their items. This bag was made in Florence, Italy. It even says on the packing label here that it came from Florence. And this bag has a nice drawstring cloth. It's not a cheap throwaway dust bag. It's a nice, I'll keep that dust bag. This bag was made in the same factory that Gucci makes some of their items. So I'm guessing it was made in the same factory as the Gucci Soho Discos. They're supposed to be made from the same leathers and the same quality. But the Gucci being $1,200, this one was only can you guess? Take a second. You'll never guess unless you've seen the ads. It was only $78. That's right. So let's see. Beautiful. I chose the black croc and they have it also in smooth leathers. This is the only color they have in the croc print, but there are other neutral colors and a red, pinks and off-whites, maybe gray, some tans, beiges, and a black in the pebbled and the smooth leathers, all for only $78. So let's take a quick look at this. It has a little bit of a shine to it, but it's pretty matte. So there is either the front or back, they look the same, can't really tell. The side of the bag, Let's call that the back. The other side, we're back to the front. There's the bottom, there's the top. You can see the zipper goes down the sides a little bit. Has D-rings for the strap, which will be inside the bag. The zipper pull is also leather. And I'm somewhat familiar with the Gucci Soho Disco. I've looked at it a couple times in the stores. So far this is definitely excellent quality. Nice smooth zipper and we open it up and the leather feels really good too and it smells like leather. Of course it would, it's from Florence. The strap here is a smooth leather and they do have it stuffed with tissue paper so let me pull that out. I am a little disappointed that it was shipped in a bag instead of in a box but what are you gonna do? It arrived in good condition and it didn't even have like bubble wrap around it kind of wish it had had that. All right, I know the interior of Gucci bags is a fabric, like a light colored linen fabric, and then they have the zipper with leather around it and the little Gucci tag. So here is the inside of this bag. It is also fabric. It's not exactly the same as the Gucci. I'm not sure that the Gucci one has the piping showing like that. That doesn't bother me at all. I just don't know if it does. So on one side, there is nothing. A little wrinkled there, but that's just the fabric. It's 
it's not any kind of flaw. And then the other side has the zipper with the leather zipper pull and the leather around the zipper. Can you see that it says made in Italy? And there's no other branding on the bag. It's soft and smushy, like I can squish it down no problem. It's a great size, let me measure it for you. One thing I was thinking with this bag too is that it can be worn crossbody or shoulder as a camera bag could also be used as a clutch. But another thing that I might wanna use it for is as like a toiletry or a cosmetic inside other bags. It is eight inches across this way, six inches high, and then two and a half inches deep. Great size. It's easy to get into it. It opens really wide since the zipper goes down the sides a little bit. The zipper inside is easy to open. That pocket, can you see in there, is nice and deep. This is definitely worth the $78 for sure, no question. They have a couple other pieces that I'd like to get but they were out of stock. There was a little triangular coin purse that looked interesting, and then they had some leather bags that are basically the same as the pochette accessoire from Louis Vuitton. Here's the hardware on the straps, and that does turn very easily. And here's how it looks with the strap attached to the bag. And this is definitely long enough to be crossbody. The strap is adjustable a little bit on each side. See if you can see that. There is a notch where that button is, but there's another notch above and below it, and that's on both sides. So you could make it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. Well, I'm very impressed with this. I did think the interior would be a little bit nicer than this, but there's nothing like bad about it. I, was, I guess I was just expecting more of a Gucci interior. It's really beautiful. I think I may go back and look at some other colors and see if there are any other ones that I'd want to order because this is a no-brainer for $78. For a little added touch of Gucci, I happen to have this tassel. So I just add that to one of the D-rings and now it's a little more Gucci-esque. It hangs a little too low though, doesn't it? That's better. I moved it up and attached it to the strap instead of the D-ring. That works. I love it. I recommend Recommend. And I will link this company below in the description box. I think it's just lastbrand.com if I remember correctly. Cool. Well, that is quite a score. I'm very happy with it. And I hope that's helpful for you if you've been seeing the ads and have been wondering about that bag too, because this is the one they've been advertising the most in the images. Definitely worth it. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope that you and your families and friends are doing really well. And I hope to see you back here next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.